Ladies and gentlemen, hello. My name is Christopher Colbert. I am the chair of CME for the American College of Osteopathic and Emergency Physicians. I am also the co-chair for our fall conference held October the 11th through the 14th. And my name is Molly Estes. I'm clinical faculty at Loma Linda University in Southern California, and I'm the other co-moderator for this fall scientific assembly. And we have here with us today um, a man that you might have heard about. You might have heard his jokes if you have not heard him directly. Um, I remember the first time I saw one of your presentations on the top 10 reasons why an ophthalmologist should not respond to an in-flight emergency at uh, Essentials a couple years back. So uh, it is my pleasure to be able to introduce to you Dr. Glockham Flecken, who will be speaking um, at one of our segments at this fall scientific assembly. And we just learned that you actually have another speaking engagement this fall too. That's right. Yeah. So I'll be I'll be talking to the uh, the, for the general assembly. I'll be talking about eye trauma, showing lots of horrifying photos of terrible things that have happened to people's eyeballs. And then I'm also going to be talking to the resident student organization um, as uh, as one of their speakers. So I'm excited about that. In fact, it's one of the keynotes, ladies and gentlemen. This is such a double honor for us here. That is <laughs> right. excellent. That is excellent. Something to really look forward to. I'm excited. So give us some insight on what you're going to speak to in reference to the, um, in addition to the RSO, but also to the main body of our participants. Yeah, I, well, I think, um, uh, you know, especially in emergency medicine, you know, trauma is, uh, especially eye trauma, can be a pretty daunting uh, thing to walk through the door. Um, and there's, in general, ophthalmology education is difficult outside of ophthalmology. So uh, I'll be basically talking about uh, the more common types of traumatic eye injuries that come in. Uh, and I'll try really hard not to use um, all of our fancy ophthalmology terms uh, and, and just kind of keep it uh, very specific to what emergency medicine physicians are interested in. Uh, and, and how to how to triage these and, and and treat them, but most importantly, when to get us involved. Well, we deeply appreciate it and can't wait for it. Um, I've long said that it should be some special type of uh, crypto code uh, technology <laughs> study is trying to interpret a good ophthalmologist uh, note. So I'm there's a Rosetta Stone coming out. <laughs> yes, <laughs> exactly. Um, recently, um, our ophthalmology residents at my shop started putting um, a little disclaimer at the top of their physical exam section. OS means left. <laughs> OP means right. I'm like, that's not the part that I needed help with, but thank you very much. <laughs> right, you got that. Um, so you are known for your absolutely witty presentations that are not only chock full of really great clinical practical pearls, um, but also chock full of jokes. So you are the perfect person for us to ask this off the cuff question to what are your two favorite comedies of all time my two favorite comedies uh well, the first one uh, jumps into my head that i just grew up with i've watched it a hundred times is happy gilmore classic that's that's just like i swear growing up i i that was like the only movie comedy i watched um and then uh you know, I really like, I really like John Candy movies from, you know, they're, they're a little, you know, I didn't really grow up with them, but I kind of discovered them a little bit later. Like Uncle Buck is like one of my, well, I love that movie so much. Um, God, there's so many. That's, that's tough. But those two, I really love those two. Those are good. Fantastic. Yeah. Okay, here we go. <laughs> <Good> question. <laughs> question number two. Question number two up the plate. If you could be anything other than a physician, anything in the world, sky's the limit, what would it be? Um, if I could be anything, uh, I mean, I would end up being uh, a comedy writer. Because I, 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 I did stand up for a long time. Um, and, you know, I, I, I like the writing part of stand up a lot more than I, I'd say the performing part of it which is I think why I gravitate so much toward Twitter. Uh, Cause it's just, a, it's very easy to, to put my writing, uh, my joke telling out there. Uh, and so I don't know, I'd probably, I'd probably move out to LA and try to start, you know, do, do comedy writing, get on a show and, and just write. That, that would, that would be it. Now I probably wouldn't make any money. And so that would, that would be a, 
a challenge, but um, if I could do anything, yeah, either that or be an astronaut, one of those two, very similar. Very, very similar. You could write comedy from space. That's a there you go. I don't think that's been done. Probably for good reason. <laughs> Comedic writer, astronaut. Um, <laughs> well, we are absolutely thrilled to have you joining us um, and can't wait to hear more um, on your talk about how to exactly approach um, ocular trauma in the setting of the emergency room. Um, thank you so much. Oh, thank Looking you. Forward I'm to excited. Your lecture. Yeah, thanks.